surprised, type in exclamation point, uh, exclamation point Xeno Saga and see what happens. Just try it. <laughs> Just try Just it and see it. what happens. Period. It's a it, bit of a surprise. Uh, I don't know. And you know what's looking like more of a surprise? We have Kamix and Slingshot in Pool's Winner's Quarters. And you know, if I'm going to be completely honest, Kamix be popping off. I Oof. don't know. Popping like, off's almost an understatement at this uh, point. Popping off? I don't know. Fourth at one yeah, Xeno? Yeah, fourth and I believe third? third. Yeah. Absolutely. And we've been seeing a lot of that. But Slingshot stepping up to the plate trying to take you know maybe a few stocks maybe a few games even off of Kamek and playing Diddy I'm gonna be completely honest I really kind of like the way that Diddy kind of has to play against you know Sonic Diddy has this one tool in neutral that is essentially a major part of their game plan and just having one thing that can essentially just stop Sonic from doing a lot of you know what Sonic normally wants to do it kind of forces Kamek to be on a little bit of an aggressive side not really, you know, wanting to be in a situation where they have to, like, just stop a lot of their approaches due to, you know, um, Banana. Ooh. And right there, Kamex is so good. I think, honestly, something he's been improving on that's giving him this really good results lately is how he releases that spin dash. He'll sometimes not release it at all and make you just stand there like an idiot. Sometimes he'll just go right away. He's so tricky with it. He'll cover the jump with it by just doing jump spin dash. Ooh. Ooh. And Very just nice. like how Slingshot covered that jump right there with the Z-Drop um, back air with Banana. Um, but yeah, Kamex and Slingshot, I think both characters, both, not both characters, both people who have been recently having some good strings of results. Kamex a little bit more so, but this is definitely like kind of two people that want something, have something to prove with the recent results and want to do really well. Absolutely. Ooh, are they going to, they are going to trip over that, but... 170%. This is definitely very good for Slingshot, but if Slingshot can't get too much of their advantage going, they are going to see themselves with only, you know, 40%. 40% is good enough of extra credit, but you want to make sure that you have a little bit of a very good lead against Sonic. Sonic will take any kill he can get off of you, and, like, you know, if you just let that happen, then... You're just going to be fighting an uphill battle. Yeah, but sounds like Slingshot's listening to your advice now. Uh, gain a farther and farther lead, 91% before taking, dropping that stock at nearly 200. I think he's totally content with that. And now Kamex is the one that has to break from his really good uh, gameplay of mixing up Spin Dash. And Zed has to make sure he's initiating something. But like you said, Sonic does have a good combo game. He's not just all camping. He can also just explode on you. And look at this, 54%, just like that. Period. And we got the match reno to four dollars. Thank you guys. Yay! Let's keep it up. Let's get five. Let's get five. Get some five if you're excited for uh, the buzz's Sora. Let's get five dollars. <laughs> Period. But is that up smash is not gonna take it. However, that backer is not gonna take it either. What do you think this is? No. <laughs> Kill? Not me. Not today. Not any of us really. Completely. Just yes. <laughs> Yeah, but this is the crazy thing is Slingshot can die here. We saw Kamex, um, especially against uh, Frozen last week, got some kills at like 60% off Spin Dash at the Legend to fair. So it, it is really possible for Sonic to use the speed for burst options rather than running away. And Kamex is so good at that. Or using the speed to react to Monkey Flip with that F Smash. This got to be frustrating for Slingshot after having such a good lead. I mean, absolutely. You know, and this, from my experience, this might be where we see, you know, Slingshot just not even worried at this point. Like, we need to see Slingshot just compose themselves, take this lead, 58%, and trying to climb this percent even more to a favorable position. Yeah, that Nair right there, if Kamex didn't shield, it could have been Nair Dare in the end of the game. Ooh, read that air dodge, but missed spacing. That would have been some nice momentum shifting. Okay, are we gonna see something? I don't know what's going on here. They were definitely trying to go for that, but not gonna work out, giving a little bit of shades of tweak. Not gonna get that just entirely. However, we are in a situation where Kamek is at 130%, 136 to be exact, I'm so sorry. And we can see, you know, Slingshot pretty much lose the lead. I mean, not lose the lead, Um, you know, take this, you know, um, game so far. Yeah, and we saw some frustration, I feel like, coming out from Kamex. Did like three F smashes into jump fairing on shield. You know, not super characteristic, but I think he knows like he had a big lead and it's got to be frustrating to just get that combo to 70, then keep getting chipped away to 130, and now getting F smash, or up smash, excuse me, at 
uh, that like 140% killing. Um, really good stuff from Slingshot. It's easy when you lose a lead to Sonic, get down his stock lead to just totally like break and run into him. And he didn't. He uh, he took the stock really calmly, and then with that stock, uh, with with evening up the stocks, then decided to turn on the jets and get a really good combo game going. So really, Slingshot and Kamek both showing why they're strong players right there. Absolutely, and we are going back, right back to PS2 to be more exact, and we're. Just gonna see a little bit more of a repeat of the last game. Putting on 26%, not gonna be too much right there. But, you know, this is kind of where we see a little bit of the damage kind of chipping in. Ooh. Ooh, I definitely love the way that they've been, you know, kind of going about just punishing a lot of a lot of the things that we see Kamex do. You saw the way that, you know, Kamex kind of just got hit by the banana a few times, just right when Kamex uses their jump, like normal Sonic things. Slingshot really calling that out just to put on a little bit of damage. However, it's not going to be too much just entirely yet. And trying to go for the tweak again. I'm not going to get it all too often. But ooh, this is looking pretty even so far. Ooh, but this could change it right here. Trying to cover a high recovery. But um, Slingshot actually opting to not monkey flip where most Diddy's would. And instead just charge those barrels. And no ooh. jump using no. Spin Dash off stage. That's going to be a dead Sonic. That's really not how you want to start game two after losing the first. Absolutely. And this is going to be really good if, you know, Slingshot actually continues to pile on this damage right here. And I love the way they... That's actually probably the third time, if I remember correctly, seeing them use Monkey Foot to actually, you know, stop um, Spin Dash in that, you know, moment. Like, in sort of like a mid-raid situation, they've been using it really well. And I definitely love the way that they use that to actually help to their neutral. And is that going to... That is absolutely going to kill that was such such an amazing kill coming in from Kamex, taking it with up throw banana to back air, period. I might have to steal that one myself. I don't know. Are, are, yeah. we, are we learning? I Some, think we might be learning. Yeah, I mean, Kamex seems to have been using the banana well so far. Right here, it's really important that he just does not get stuffed out by, like, um, any fares or nares, because that's how um, Slingshot's been getting his damage. But geez, look at this banana play. Now 67 or 66 percent. This could be such. Uh, this could be an even game soon. Almost, pretty much is. Absolutely, that was a very nice, like you know, burst option right there to kind of just stop you know slingshot from getting in. But ooh, okay, gonna get back to stage a little bit safely and very nice fair calling that out. I definitely love the way that you know slingshot has been positioning a lot of you know their moves, throwing it out because they know by the time that it gets there, it's gonna. Ooh, it hit Kamex, and is that... Nope. Not gonna kill. However, they just been positioning a lot of their moves super well, and it's just been working out for them so well, but is that back? We're gonna take it. That is absolutely gonna take it, and we're gonna see a stock from our Kamex right here. This is um exactly how game one went, where Kamex was down, brought it back, then got a stock lead, then Slingshot managed to bring him back. So now this is up to Kamex to make it a different story for game two. Otherwise, we're gonna see something and it's looking like very similar events. Now right here, Kamex has to keep his composure because Slingshot did run away with it last time. Oh no. Oh no, are we gonna see the same story? I don't know, it's looking like it. It's looking like, you know, Slingshot does not want to deal with any of this, but Kamek's just being careful, trying to force Slingshot to do something that is going to, you know, give Kamek an opportunity like that. And that is actually going to own up an opportunity for Slingshot. Not going to be too much damage. However, this is where the damage starts building. Ooh. This is looking a lot more even than last time. Kamek's trying to change the script. Oh, okay. But this banana, so scary at these percents near ledge. But that fair, this is such good momentum now for Kamex. Ooh, very nice. That was very nice coverage from Kamex, but not going to be able to kill. Ooh. But that Dead. will. Absolutely very nice taking that stop. Now, what do you think we might see from both of these players? Because, you know, it was still very much even, very much consistent. But it looks like this third game is going to be the real determining factor of what actually is going to be the, the victor of this game. Yeah, and look at that. That comboed from, like, the other, like, third of the stage. Third, mm -hmm. like, and comboed all the way off stage to the right in that fair. That's, that just shows the strength of Sonic right there. That's, like, one of the best kill confirms in the game, especially in the hands of Kamex. 
but like you were saying, um, what needs to change? I think Kamex is gonna need to be way smarter in not falling into Diddy's aerials. That is where uh, Slingshot has gotten um, so much percent. And in the same regard, Slingshot's gonna have to be mixing up where he places his aerials more because I think Kamex was starting to figure that out, and that's how he managed to close out that second game. Absolutely, you have to be very careful about how you actually approach this character because Sonic will mix you up. Absolutely. Oh. Very nice spin dash. We're going to get some damage. Ooh, Ooh, and very nice calling out the high recovery. It's very hard to catch a lot of high recoveries that Diddy Kong players might have. And that was a beautiful execution from Kamix. Not going to get that edge guard right there, but we are at 109%. Oh. And that almost would have been a stock if Kamix got that F smash. But, you know, Slingshot does not want any of this. Slingshot is trying to fight back as best as possible. They may be at 109%, but they are not trying to stop. They are trying to get back into this game right here. Yeah, Sling uh, Camus was clearly feeling himself at that start game. Nearly the zero to death, uh, or really good string. And now Slingshot totally shutting that down. I think Kamex is a bit of like a state of shock because he totally lost his momentum and now has to bring it back. And Slingshot flying back. 100 to 114. This is pretty much anyone can lose the stock right here. Hmm? So what do you? So how do you think about how you know Banana actually impedes a lot of you know what Sonic wants to do? Because it's looking like it's starting to do that a little bit more here. But in a lot of situations, we'll see where Banana is just stop spin dash. And I'm wondering if that actually does that when spin dash is on you know the ground. But that backer is gonna take it, taking off Slingshot's first stock. Now this is where Slingshot definitely needs to keep their composure because we want to see them take the stock as soon as possible if they want to be back in the game. Well, and right there, Kamek's been dashing forward, then jumping back, and uh, Slingshot just threw out an up smash totally in the middle of nowhere because of that. Mixing it up a little bit because this is how Kamex can't... The only way Kamex is losing his stock is by kind of going into Slingshot's range. So Slingshot's going to have to be really smart where he places himself because Kamex is not giving him anything. Oh, um, except you just dare a banana. And that is very nice, sticking at the stock at 171%. There's something that I've been noticing a little bit about, you know, the, a lot of the usage that Slingshot has with their banana. Banana, as much as it is really much of a mix-up, I feel like it's starting to become a little bit less of a mix-up right now, knowing that Kamek just wants to know the timing, know when it's going to pull out, and actually punish, you know, Slingshot instead. You know, again, Sonic is really fast, so he can actually punish a lot of monkey flips, like try to punish it right there. Not going to get it just immediately yet. But, ooh, that was a little bit of a mess right there. I'm not entirely sure, but we're trying to see, you know, Kamex in disadvantage right here. Got to be very careful. This, uh, this led, uh, well, formerly that ledge position was a chance for Slingshot to take the lead, but Kamex was really fortunately able to get back because that could have been really tough. And now, Kamex with a very slight lead. He's going to be kind of wanting to look for these kill confirms soon, maybe with, like, an F smash read or with those spin dash into fairs. And that monkey flip coming out directly contesting the spin dash. That's something we haven't been seeing used too much. Um, so maybe uh, Slingshot kind of taking some uh, new tricks out for game three. Absolutely. And I feel like this is kind of one of the situations where we really need to see, you know, Slingshot, if they want to take this dock, they have to be, you know, super consistent of the way that Kamex has been playing off stage. Not really, you know, just trying to take their moments to just wait and... <laughs> Ooh, is that gonna, is absolutely going to take it at 100 and I don't remember what entirely percent. I'm so sorry. Um, but we are going to see another lead from Kamek right now. Oh, and, and once ooh. again, baiting that uh, preemptive um, up smash. He did that last stock. This right here is definitely a chance for Kamex to um, get a lead. I feel like unlike last stock where like he had a lead, then he barely got chipped back. Now he has some momentum going into this stock. So I could definitely see Kamex potentially running away with it here. But Slingshot shut me up right there with that uh, uh, with that fair. And this is now super even. Absolutely. It's going to be as even as possible. I definitely love the way that both of these players have been giving us such a good game right now. Keeping it super even, super consistent. And just like trying to really, you know, make it like, you know, almost a movie at this point. Like, honestly, I'm enjoying this, you know, Star Wars Diddy action with uh, Sonics being the villain. Did I say Sonic? Sonic. Anyways. Sonics. Uh, let's let's be honest about Kamex. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's the evil spirit of Sonics. Especially on Halloween, please. Oh, right there. 
The ghost of the spring hitting Slingshot right there. Um, this is so close. Definitely, I think whoever gets the next big opening can potentially run away with that momentum. So maybe it could be Kamex right here. Hit a couple spin dashes in a row, but wasn't able to combo off it. Not a fan of these F smashes, though. Cannot force stuff. Absolutely. You have to be very, very intentional with the way that you're doing oh. things because if you do something like that, you will get that Nair 2 back air right there. You have to be super, super, super cognizant of what you're doing at ledge. You know, it was a very good that they actually mixed up their timing in that moment. Not getting, you know, off of ledge right there, but it was the one thing that, you know, Kamix kind of just got it out. Like, yeah, you know, he, didn't really see that get punished all too often he, during he the game. Yeah, he didn't do that really the whole set. That soft nair bear confirms that such a long range. We saw at the end that confirmed above 100. It's such a weak move that puts you in stun for a good amount of time. So good at the ledge. Uh, and Kamex right there, I think kind of showing why he's been doing so good. He didn't seem to panic once, really. We saw some ass smashes, but for the most part, kept it really together. And even in, like, 10 situations, even after things like losing a lead. Sorry. <laughs> um, he never, um, he never totally gave up or got, uh, in his own head. And you know what we won't give up on? Getting this match Reno up. It's almost at $5. Who's going to be the brave person to press estimation point match Reno and make it $5.20? Uh, on Halloween, let's get one of the highest pops we've ever seen. Let's celebrate a bit. Period. You got to get all the spooky action. If you want to see one of your favorite players dressed up for Halloween, maybe if we reach this up goal, we can yeah, convince, they're, they're gonna you know. a costume. <laughs> yeah, no, like, stop. Like, let's be honest. Like, imagine the buzz in cat ears and a May costume. Like, uh, I, 